by me posting on Facebook, which is my local. I got to know some guys that I've never known before. So there's one gentleman I haven't, I met him at the supply house once, but we've only talked through Facebook. He's a service boiler guy. He knows control wiring, the works. He said, if I ever get into a jam, he would help me out. I did my brother-in-law's oil boiler three years ago. I subbed out the electrical. And since then, he hasn't thought that it's worked correctly. So I took this guy up on his offer and we're gonna go meet him. Let's go. There he is. It's the man, the myth, the legend. Good morning, Matt. <laughs> Whenever you do an indirect, I don't know. See, this is the thing I don't like about. See me and I took that out and measured it though. Yeah. It hits it bottoms out. No, it's fine though. This ain't your issue. This C Z Z C and Z R here, this should just have a jumper in it. And then what we're gonna do is we're not gonna you run nest thermostats and everything yeah. upstairs. So what we're gonna do is we're not gonna we're not gonna run any economy in here. I've never even seen it that low. Like the yeah, boiler you, temp is. You turn the low off. Yeah, I had you turn the so low off. So it's just yesterday. gonna be on, on, on demand, right? On demand. You don't need the okay. low. So your low temp is if this boiler was a maintained boiler. So if this boiler was maintaining temperature all the time. For like a coil, if it had a coil. For if it had a coil, yeah. So we okay. don't need any low. And we don't need any economy out of control. Okay. So the the Z C in the ZR, what it does is, when the hot water calls, this controls on priority. What we do is we're gonna, if we have the economy turned way up in here, we're only gonna have the boiler come up to like 150. Okay. To heat. Okay. We have to send a signal down, telling this control, hey, we're running for hot water now. So it'll know. And it puts like priority for 45 priority minutes, minutes or something, yes, right? exactly. Okay. We're gonna get rid of all that though. Okay. Reason being is you have Nest thermostats upstairs already. So basically what's happening is you're already, you have your Nest thermostats upstairs that are not talking to this control and they're doing economy. And then down here you have this doing economy. So the two of them are fighting. Mm. My wife will put it like 68, 70 degrees, right? If she's yep. cold. Yeah. And that thing will come up to 70 degrees yep. and then it'll kick right back down to 65. So it'll do it 70 degree run yeah. and then it'll kick back down. I'm like, fuck this. I want the low. Yeah. I want it to be, because you can have like yeah. a, um, whatever you want, like a minimum that it will maintain. Yes. I put it at, it still goes back. It kicks me right out yeah, of it. That's and goes, why they, they kind of suck. A house like this, don't get me wrong. This house is tight. For its age, it's tight. But this isn't a new construction, right. spray foamed, exactly. extremely tight yeah. house. So in this situation, what we want to do is we want to get our differential close to that. It's giving you a five degree differential. We want like two degrees. Okay. Maybe three. You got many splits with with uh, solar. You're trying to use electric. So we're just going to, all we're going to do is we're just going to take out the ZC and ZR. We're yeah. going to make this boiler always run up to 180 every time there's, every time there's a call. And then we'll just have the indirect on priority. We're just going to do it old school. Basically, they were trying to make it so they talked to each other. But then we can never okay. have another hot water issue after everything. Okay. All right. That's all I care about. Hundred <laughs> percent. You're never gonna have a hot water issue again. You never. Yeah, because this thing's all over the map. Like sometimes no, I get to be gonna, boiling hot. Sometimes no, I get to be. What the gonna, fuck is going on? You're never on? gonna run out of hot water again. You're never gonna have an issue. The ZR should be black. Yeah, and the ZC or whatever should, should be, white. be white. But the thing is, he came in here off the ZR white and the ZC black. So he's mirror mirroring it. You know what I mean? Even though he's backwards, he's backwards here and he's backwards here. Okay. Yeah. So now we need to make a jumper wire for that. I have a 12 3 out in my shed if you need it. I don't want to cut that wire in there because in case you ever want to put it back in the future. Mm -hmm. Hey, you want to grab me a little piece of like black? Well, I told you I helped you out. Gentlemen, I know. I took you, took you out of your word. Yeah, you understand the entire system from start to finish. Start to exactly, finish. right. Yeah. Where I can do the hydronics, but then yeah, after I look that, at you. Your shit's fucking man. I got to leave the wiring up to somebody else, but it's something see, I want to learn. See, if you were a hack, I wouldn't even come here. Seriously, though. I wouldn't, <laughs> right. I wouldn't come help you. You know what I mean? Gentlemen, so. I want to learn how to fucking wire them from start to finish. Yeah, yeah. Right. It's fit. Yeah. Well, once you, know once you understand it, right. It's been... Since the beginning, like, I don't know, man. Something ain't right. No, it's <laughs> just that the, it wasn't communicating properly. Yeah. What, the way he actually has it set up, what I think was actually happening, to be honest with you. Cause I probably f with it too I gotta, too, to be honest. Yeah, a little right. bit. See, this is f up because this control says Z, C, and Z, R, right? Yeah. And this one says Z, C, and Z, R. Yeah. These two don't connect. Okay. They're two totally separate. This is for telling other control stuff. And this is for telling other control stuff. Gotcha. They're not even supposed to be connected together. Okay, all right. So you took two controls, yeah, and, you and he saw the Z, C, and the Z, R, and he put them together. Fair enough. You're lucky we didn't see smoke. <laughs> but 
You really won't though, because it's like a dry cloud. It's not really, it's it's isolated, so it won't burn anything out. Okay. But basically, I think what's happening was when this was going into priority, which I'll think about this later and I'll tell you if it's true or not. Fair enough. I just need to wrap my head around Definitely. it. Definitely. Understood. When it was going into priority, it was actually turning the boiler off. So the only thing you were heating that tank with was resi residual or the low that gotcha. he had. It yeah, the only, okay. So, because it was like, it, it, I'd be down here. Yeah. Thing would turn on. It'd run for, like, to be exact, I think I timed it. It was like two minutes, 14 seconds. Yeah. It was shut off. I'd go do something within, like, five minutes, the thing turned back on. I'm like, this is bullshit, dude. I get pissed. Then yeah. the thing, the the boiler uh, got blocked, got all blocked up. They came out, uh, my buddy came out and cleaned it. And he was like, oh, it was all... This is a New Yorker three-pass, too, right? This is a three-pass? Yeah. I think this is a three-pass, right? He says, oh... This is a good boiler. Yeah, and he yeah. tells me, oh, you should have bought a fucking PS. I'm like, I have a f***ing... Nah, these yeah. are good boilers. These are good boilers. Last night was, like, the first time it stopped doing that, when I shut the economy yeah, off. Yeah, when I told you. And the low off, yeah, it yeah. finally yeah, stopped being... Yeah. Like, it was trying to satisfy yeah. a temperature that... Something that so dirty because it kept starting yeah, I feel like, yeah, 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 absolutely. Yeah. The thing's just constantly turning on and off, on and off, on and off. I usually only go through, like, a tank a year. Right. And like I feel like I've been filling that thing up like more, more than, than more than I ever have. Hopefully that changes. This thing's fucking is worse than my 1986 boiler. No, not anymore. I put a water feed on it in like all the years that I was here. I'll check that fire out for you real quick. You like to keep your tank full blast too because it kills all bacteria in the tank. And you have less expansion contraction in the tank the higher we run the temperature in here. Mm -hmm. And it gives the boiler time to uh, it gives the boiler time to uh, you know recoup. So. It was a nice bright tip plane now, it wasn't. It was hazy in there. That's right. Yeah, it's running pretty good. How long ago did you tune it? Just last week. Yeah, it's running good now. That, that sudden will go away now. Appreciate it, man. Thanks, Jay. Appreciate it. Good. Thank you. Power of social media, baby. Let's go.